Hey, Steve Stein here again, and I want to help you a little bit more with this learning songs by ear and then turning those songs into something that is comfortable for you to play. What I want to talk about today is position, learning how to play certain parts of a song in a different position. Okay, so let me explain to you what I mean. I'm going to use uh, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd as an example. Now, there's a part in the song that uh, in the solo that goes like this. Okay, now there's nothing wrong with that. That's, well, maybe there is, but the point is, is in this position, that's how the part goes. But let's say you didn't like playing it down there. You're too close to the, the nut of the guitar and it makes it hard to bend and all that sort of thing. So you might see that the song is written uh, as far as the tablature goes or the notation goes, you might see that it's written down here, but you don't like playing it down there. What you can do is try and figure out where the notes are elsewhere on the guitar and find a better position that's more comfortable for you. Okay, so let me show you that first and then I'll tell you a quick little story about it. So let's say, for instance, I just take this. Now, if I listen to those notes, I can come up here. Now, it might take you a little while to get used to where it is, right? You know, you know to find them, um, where I'm just kind of looking at this as being in a position here. So right there, I'm using those same notes. And then it goes. So I have. So I'm just thinking that in my head. Okay, so it starts off with me really being able to hear this phrase in my head. I had a guitar teacher that once that told me, if you can sing it in your head, you can play it on your guitar. If it's too fast for your brain to, to grasp, oftentimes it's too hard to, to just play without a lot of work on your guitar. Now it's just a generalization, but it's something to think about. So if I can sing this phrase in my head, not out loud, but if I can sing it in my head, okay. See, I'm just finding the other notes in a different spot on the guitar. And I might find that playing that phrase up here on the 7th and ninth frets is easier because I've got more ability to bend on my acoustic guitar. I might not. I might hate it up here and I'd rather play it down here. Or vice versa, you might have found the tab and it shows it up here, or the notation and it shows it here, and you'd rather play it down here. So my point is, you can't feel bad about switching the position from where maybe, you know, David Gilmore would play this, or or whether, you know, your, your sheet music showed it in a different spot or something like that. And I always use this as an example, like if you think about, which I have my acoustic guitar, but if you think about playing uh, Paranoid, for instance, by Black Sabbath. Um, you know, I'm a huge Sabbath fan and, and that sort of thing. But, you know, Sa Tony Iommi used to play it up here. And I learned how to play it down here. Sorry, I had to play it. So I learned how to play it down here because I was learning it by ear. And I remember, you know, f seeing Tony Iommi play it up here and I thought, oh, okay, so that's where he plays it. And then that was it. I didn't change where I played it because I saw him play it there. I just thought, oh, that's cool. He plays it up there. And, you know, you watch video of Randy Rhodes playing this song or, you know, playing Paranoid. Or you watch video of Zach Wilde or whoever it might be uh, playing this song. And they don't all play it in the same position that Tony played it in. And I don't think they feel bad about it either. They just, they're just playing and having some fun with it. Um, you know, the solo changes and all sorts of different things. It doesn't change structurally. You don't want to change the songs, the structure of the song. But where you're playing it needs to make sense in your eyes and with your hands. So the next time you go to play it, it's easy for you to see it and, and find it, right? Wherever that might be. And the more you do this, the more you're going to realize that there's just certain places where you play things. And it just it just makes better sense in your brain to play it here or to play it here or whatever it might be. 
Um, and the other part is, is it's got to feel good. You know, you don't want to have to fight every time you grab your guitar to play it. So think about that a little bit and see if that helps you.